I think the idea of learning is around you have to understand something well enough that you can then try to apply it. And as you're applying it, have an honest look at how well it's going and improving based on that. But I think most importantly, it's based on something that's of real importance to you. Well, if there's a utility to it, which is just even if you're not particularly interested, but you just want to do well, understanding that the likelihood is virtually nothing we do now is static, mm -hmm. right? And either how something is done or why it's done is changing or the, the techniques or technology applied is changing. And so that's just straight, you know, either keeping yourself up with it or getting better. But for many of us, there is, a, you know, a personality component, which is around just the need to feel like you're, you're pushing, right? And you're expanding what you know and you're excited. But for me, I mean, I, I, I'm one of those people that if I walk around and see a piece of equipment, I really want to understand how it works. You know, I, I spend a little time understanding what's called a continuously variable transmission and how it works. And what does that mean? I'm a car guy, and okay. it's the idea of whether or not it has a set of gears or no set of gears. It continuously moves based on the shape of these interlocking conical things. It's pretty. It's it's a really interesting way for cars to get like maximum the maximum amount of power to the wheels mm -hmm. without having the clunkiness of shifting. What piques your curiosity for subjects such as cars and? You know, I think. Um, I was going to go to school for engineering. That's what it is. And, I, I, and I've been really lucky in my McKinsey career to work at places like refineries and chemical plants, nuclear power plants, fossil power plants, mines, things like that. And I've always been more interested in the places where man and machine have to come together for big stakes. You know, like, you know these are places where when you make mistakes, something blows up. Mm -hmm. Or they really help power you know, a region or a town or something else. And so it was always big stakes. And isn't it amazing that, that, that we can do this? You know, more than and that's else. intriguing to you. Very much. I, I mean, look, I love the idea. I mean, I'm, I'm, I turned 50 in August, and it's around the time of the, the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. Growing up, I always wanted to be an astronaut. And it was always around, look at the cool stuff we can do. Yeah. So if I see something neat that we've built, and I don't understand it, I really, really want to understand it, but particularly when it's mechanical.